सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज अनदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स फॉर आई बी जेई मेंस एंड एडवांस नॉट फॉर सीबीएसई लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज यू आर गिवन एफ एक्स एफ एक्स इज 12 minus 2 की पावर रूट 3 और sin x minus cos x का होल स्क्वायर cos x cos r यू आर गिवन g g x व्हिच इज सिग्नल ऑफ दिस कंप्लीट क्वांटिटी सो यू नीड टू फाइंड सम ऑफ ऑल इंटीग्रल वैल्यूज ऑफ p for which the above gx is continuous for all x belongs to r so first of all let's see the question see this is a polynomial function and this is a trigonometric function so we need to find the correlation between them and there is no direct correlation so what is the use of this function why it is given this specific form so let us first understand this uh, so see i can write it as square minus 2 into 4 root 3 by 2 sin x minus 1 by 2 cos x We power. We can write it like this, right? Because it will get cancelled. Now it will become sine cos minus cos sine. We how it will be? It is twelve minus two. We power four. So this root three by two can be written as cos thirty. And this sine thirty it will become sine cos minus cos sine. We write it sine of x minus five by six. The square, right? Now the maximum value of this expression, this is square. It can be one, and the minimum value can be zero. So two cases we can have twelve minus two to the power four. Two by four divided by sixteen that is minus four. Or it can be twelve minus two to the power zero. Two by two divided by one it can be eleven. So f x can be minus two and eleven. It can be between this. So from this I am able to find this first thing. Okay. Let us see the second thing. What is the meaning of sigma? Suppose a graph goes like this. Signal gives you plus one when the graph is positive. That means at these locations, it gives you minus one when the graph is negative, and zero when the graph is zero. Okay, so one, minus one, and zero. So these are the values of signal. Signal gives you this. Okay, so positive plus one when the graph is positive, minus one when the graph is negative, and so on. Okay. So let us understand this now. This g x here, we can write it as g x is equal to sigma x square plus two p x plus five p. Now it can be minus four or plus eleven, right? So first we can solve plus eleven. Now see, we do not want graph like this because this is not continuous. We want continuity. A is positive. The first coefficient of x square that is positive. That means the graph will be upward parabola. If it was negative, it will be downward parabola. These are the basic of quadratics. I have made another video on quadratics. You can see if you want that. Okay. So the graph is upward parabola, and we want a graph which is always positive. So that the signal is always one, which is continuous. Right now the graph is like this when a is positive, which is already positive, and when discriminant is negative. So that means we do the discriminant negative of this part, and let us find what do we get. So b square minus four ac less than zero four gets cancelled. B square minus five p minus eleven less than zero. So p is minus b plus minus root of B square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay, so this is how much? 69. 69. So 8 into 64. That means it is approximately 8.2. So plus minus 8.2 upon 2. So it gives you two option. Minus means 3.2 upon 2 minus 1.6. And on the positive side is 13 by uh, 2. How much? So I think. Uh, Thirteen six six point six, right? So okay. So I am raising this part. So according to this range of eleven f x, we have p which can be between these. Let's make less than zero. That means p is between these. So minus one point six to six point six, which gives you minus one zero one. Two, three, four, five, six. So according to eleven, we need to add all these values. Let us see minus four. I am erasing this. So if we have minus four here, again we do a discriminant less than zero. 
that means b square minus 4 ac less than 0 4 its cancel b square minus 5 b plus 4 less than 0 t minus 1 t minus 4 less than 0 that is p is between 1 and 4 it is between 1 and 4 not even 1 and 4 that means only 2 and 3 so see we have two options we will take the intersection of both the cases because we want continuity always so if I take 6 as a case that won't satisfy this part but if I take 2 as a case it will satisfy this also that means only 2 and 3 p can be so that this is always continuous now the addition of 2 and 3 will give you 5 so 5 is the answer to this question sum of all the integral values of p so that the above graph is always continuous okay so when this happens the uh, this whole graph will be positive and signal will give you plus one answer so gx will always be plus one in this case that will be always be continuous right so this is how the question has to be approached you have to see what is the correlation between them how do we approach what is the use of this term etc etc okay you should know the meaning of signal so if you have any doubts related to this question you can write in the comments we'll uh, talk talk about it we'll see how it can be solved and share this video with all your friends we'll meet in the next class with another good video okay so till then keep practicing all the best